Hello everyone. I'm here again with another box opening flip through. Now, I was too excited for this one. I actually did a flip through <laughs> of my own. So I've looked at I've looked at them and yeah, so we're looking at the Wisdom of Oracle Div oh, Divation Cards by Colette Baron Reed, who did the Spirit, uh, the Spirit Animal Tarot, or Tarot Oracle. Don't know why I just needed more oracles. I was getting a lot of tarot. I have another tarot on the way, and I have an astrology deck as well. And then, yeah, and tomorrow I'm going to the fair, so I have no idea <laughs> what I will find there. So there's the box, the sturdy, sturdy hay house box. I'll put that in the back right there. So yeah, we're going to get into this, the book. This is just first impressions and kind of first impressions. It's first impressions from after doing a flip through. The book is, like, what is that? It's so thick. I'm amazed by these thick books. Let me see how thick it is to the, whoops, to the uh, spirit animal then. Oh my goodness. They are roughly the same. I think the Wisdom Oracle is a bit bigger. I'm not used to these kind of decent size <laughs> Oracle box. These are amazing. Like, the, even the one in the Fairy um, Oracle I have by uh, Dorian Virtue, that's just a little kind of paper pamphlet. And I'm just like, what is going on? So. Yeah, I was, I was flipping through the book and it's really interesting. So there'll be like essential meaning, so like just the straightforward meaning of a card and then there'll be an oracle message. Then, depending on the question of the reading, uh, there's a relationship, prosperity, protection. Yeah, it's really nice. So depending on what type of reading I'm doing, so say if I was doing a love reading, I just flip through to that, that one part and go relationship. And then see what that card meant in relationship circumstances, which is really nice. I think that's a really cool thing because then you won't be like, I love doing interpret uh, interpretive, no, intuitive readings. But sometimes it's nice to have a straightforward answer, you know. And then here we have the back. I love this backing. I was reading about why there's a face in every card. Like this kind of ghostly face here. It's like the spirit or the goddess, like it's just spirit world, looking at you, telling you this is happening. And they're giving you a straightforward message. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. So it scooches over. Um, yeah, that's the Yang card. They're all numbered very nicely. They're not in your face, you know. So nice. Um, so yeah. The cardstock is nice. It's laminated on both sides, but it's not like slippery. It's not slippery at all, which is really nice. Um, so there's the Yang card. I love that. It's just so pretty and pink. I'm gonna move this so I can actually figure out where the camera's going and where I'm going. That's the card that won me over for this deck. It it was like these two were like the first two were like normal like you're oh that's fine that's nice that's nice artwork then it starts getting a bit alice in wonderland bizarre stuff like so that's between worlds like black and white and very vibrant now you can see like there's a face there of the girl here on the higher power card but then there's the spirit face just there so there's two more than one face sometimes in each card This is interesting. I showed this to my sister, and at first I went, "Oh, look! She looks like she's a bird in a nest." But then she went, "Well, she looks like a snowman melting." And I went, "Oh, yeah, because the orange beak just there." It was interesting how you can see what they look like. Not for you, number six. I love the imagery in this. It's just so interesting. Like that's a paper boat. <laughs> it's so interesting. We try. 
But the more you stare, the, the more you'll find and the more intuitive you'll get. Treasure Island. Now, I realise the girl who did this must be the artist who did my circus deck because this is the same image as the Maze of Masks in my, in my uh, circus deck. So yeah, buy the book. Change the moon. And the more you stare at that, the more you find it. I was staring at that for ages going, wow, the, like that's so... It's so Alice in Wonderland, like it's so backwards and yet makes sense. There's even a little fairy just there. They get weirder, like fork in the road. Now, it took me ages to see the fork. <laughs> I'll leave it there and let you see, can you find the fork? Truth be told, I would be petrified like that bird going, why do I have a window? Like opening up in a way, and so wow. Message in a bottle. And he's like, I'm wearing a jester mask as well here. And it's just a phone. I love that. It's just like, why is there a phone? All that glitter. I nearly dropped one there. The fate. My sister and I were staring at this for ages. We're like, what is on her face? Like, she's blinded. But she's trying to tie the string of stars together. It's, she's trying to change her fate and it's interesting. Serendipity. I love that word. It means like by chance or you're, it's like destined by chance. I, there's a film called Serendipity and I would recommend that to anyone. So beautiful. Flexibility. Imagine and the balloon, the, the moon's a balloon. <laughs> Clean it up. That's that's just so unique. It's a caribou cleaning. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Like the the way this imagery is done is so interesting. Blessed. Like that makes sense just along with the dove, like you know that what they meant, but I was like, why is there an egg? And I have to find out why is there an egg. Time for a nap. Little fox there. Round and round. Happy happy. Enchanting gifts. Kitty cat there. Building blocks. Breathe. It makes you want to go, oh, just like release tension, doesn't it? In a way, the more you stare at that, this lady, I always say, from, af from afar she looks old. But if I come close, she kind of goes a bit youthful, like I'm not, not like suddenly a teenager but you can see that she becomes young because <coughs> it's kind of like stre stress would age you in a way tick tock why and I like this it's why and if the only thing I've noticed about this card when it says why is that the 31 is in like all the rest of the cards are in like the numbers are in a corner but this one I don't know why it just seemed to be Odd. Why was it on this side? All the rest are on this side or that side? In the top up here. Why? There and now. Chaos and conflict. Now this card. I hadn't seen this before and I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. It's a zebra. And it's getting rid of its stripes or trying to break free of its stripes to become a giraffe. Why not? It's like think big. Um, you see like the photoshopped ones of a kitten looking in the water and they're a tiger. It's so cute. And you're like, yeah. A leg up. Oh, a little baby polar bear. 
That was the other thing I loved about this deck. It's like, there's magical creatures, and then there's just the animal kingdom in it, and it's so interesting. A loyal heart. Oh, my life. Uh, calm to the edge. Very full representation, but it looks like she's kind of dancing around the edge. Like, teasing the universe, going, maybe I will take the jump, maybe I won't. Never ending story. Looks like this fairy has like been doing the same loop no matter how many times she's been reincarnated. She's like, oh, why can't I just get that one thing? To be fair, which is the box art. I like this, it's like a fortune cookie. It's better seen on the cover actually, I'll show you. So she's holding a fortune cookie and it says, nope. And on the other one she has an egg. And on top she has an owl. I don't know why this one seems, I know it's the cover art, it has to be a bit bigger than you can see the detail a bit more on that than this one's a bit zoomed out. New life. At least we know fairies come from eggs, apparently. Co create. I like that. There's like an egg, an owl on a line, and then there's a cheetah. And yet no one's attacking no one. They're just there, they're going, whatever. This is by far my most favourite lover's card in a way. Oh, it's so cute. They're just penguins. They're penguins. And penguins make for life, guys. It's so cute. And he has the key to her heart. Or, and you wear little shoes and he's wearing a scarf. I'm sorry. I'm into my animals lately. Do you know what I mean? Like, you just go with what's calling you. Chop wood. This is interesting. I didn't get this at all, so I had to look it up, and I can't quite remember what it meant, but it was so unexpected, and if when I could do a reading, I'll look into it. Deep knowing. I love how happy this little owl is, he's just like, hmm, I'm just going to sit here on the moon, and I know stuff. <laughs> he's so cute. The think. Time to go. I like that. It's like she's slowly doing that walk into this like faded background. Regeneration. I don't know why I must have missed this one. I remember flipping through and I don't remember seeing that one. Look how the lava just brings brings new land and then life just happens after it's cooled down. Go the distance. <laughs> he's gone so fast he's losing his spots. <laughs> Poised. Goodness. Observer. The box like, how do I get back up there? I want to go and take my nap. <laughs> oh goodness. No pe no peace like home. No oh, place. It, it looks like it says peace. I don't know why sometimes when I see curly it depends on the font. My eyes can't read it properly. No place like home. It'd be funny if that was actually ruby slippers. I don't know why. It'd be funny. This is another card that won me over. It was milk and honey, and I went, Oh, that's nice. Why is there an elephant in the bowl of milk and honey? <laughs> and I was just like, Why? And then you just read about it, and you're like, Well, elephants represent loyalty and family. Milk and honey are like, you know, the sweetness of life and the sustenance of life. And then you're like, Oh, yeah, family, you're kind of, yeah. But I don't know why this, it's still, it's still funny that there's an elephant swimming in a bowl. And last, we have mending. And there's the backing again. So that was just, oh, this deck is just gorgeous. I feel at peace with this deck, I will say. I feel very at ease. And I always wanted, I, like while I was downstairs, like I, I didn't go upstairs for a while because I was doing, um, I'm in the top, like in the attic of my room. So I kept this beside me and I just kept, you know, pulling it towards me and I had to have it beside me or near me. And oh, it was really interesting. So I'm just going to shuffle them away from the camera because... Um, the tablet's kind of teetering on the edge, so like... Give it a good shuffle until the test run out. Let's do it again. Oh, one just leapt out. That one leapt out. Hold on. <laughs> it leapt out of my hand while I was shuffling. So we have 
unfinished symphony. So this is the one for myself. So I'm going to just pop the deck there. You can see it there while I read it. Number 10. Wow. So I don't know. What was I thinking of when I was doing this? I was thinking of like a relationship or something. So I'll read the relationship one. Moving on is difficult. Okay. So I'll read the ascent, like the main plot. Like what's the main keywords? Unfinished symphony. Unfinished business, incomplete lesson, lack of closure, and the need to amend. Okay, so that kind of means something. You know, that does, like, you know, you have kind of unfinished business going on here. I'm going to see what it says in romance, because I was thinking of... Oh, I don't know why, I just felt like thinking of relationships there. Moving on is difficult, but when love lingers, things are left unsaid, and you haven't had the opportunity to, for clo closure in your relationship and, your, and in your heart. You can still feel bond, feel bound up in relationships when your closure is denied, when closure is denied to you. It's important to achieve this for yourself. Write that letter, make the call, or have that conversation over a cup of coffee for peace of mind. Accept matters as they are. Make amends if need be, and declare your feelings, even if only to yourself. To be clear about what was left uns unresolved. Wow, this is really very accurate to me. Sorry, I'm just like, oh, this is. And the closed, and, the cl and close the door of the past. So you can set yourself free. Wow, that's so true. Like, uh, it's taken me a very long time to move on from my last breakup, which was like three years ago, maybe four at this point. I don't know. It's very hard to just open up that door a bit more. So yeah, I'll do one for you guys. So I'll just shuffle it again. I'll just do general, so we'll see. Ooh, so we got Imagine for you guys. So you guys got Imagine. So number 20. And we'll have a look at that. 24. There we go. I'll just do the oracle, the general. The essential meaning and the oracle meaning, okay? So, turning imagination into manifestation, creating thoughts, uh, visualization, the power of alignment, uh, imaginary imagery and feelings, creativity and illusion. So that makes sense. That's all creativity kind of figured it was imagined. Um, the oracle's message. Who do you want to be? What do you need to be in order to have the life you want? You were gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is key to manifest to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time uh, daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals or meditating. Allow allow the power of the of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things becoming reality. <laughs> then repeat, when you imagine, I'm sorry, this is very res resonating for me and it's only general. <laughs> um, when, no, what you imagine will become your belief and soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. That's a really nice card. That's very resonating for myself as well. Like, the deck I posted in the group the other day, the Heart of the Fairies, uh, of Heart of the Fairies Oracle, I was like going, there's no way I'm going to be getting that. So I'm going to take the advice of my friend Jen and just post it and see what happens. Lo and behold, I found one. For a reasonable price that aren't asking for a month's rent. Let's just leave that. Or asking for a heating bill. <laughs> My goodness, like oh, so yeah, what wow, uh, the universe provides, guys. Oh my goodness, like it's. I've been doing this kind of stuff for five years, nearly nearly five years, and it still baffles me how it does that sometimes. I go, what on earth? How did it do that? Like, how did it know? So like it was after I also watched the film Law of Attraction, The Secret. Oh my goodness, you have to watch that like that. I thought it was a load of like, what is this? This this doesn't make any sense. 
but hey it worked and that's the review and flip through of this deck i hope you enjoyed it i will have more decks coming which is not surprising just to be honest once you start you just, it's like pringles once you pop you cannot stop it's like once you tarot you cannot i don't know i'll leave it there guys and i'll see you all very soon